So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can create your own AI avatars. Introducing Nikolai, your ultimate partner in sports analytics. Are you ready to take your performance to the next level? With the Wondershare Workflow platform, I'm going to show you all the different features, the functionality and so on. We can go in and choose between a bunch of different AI avatars. We can then do voice cloning, video translation. We can just take a script and create these interactive AI avatars. So it's just way more interactive to have these AI avatars on your website, in your content, marketing material and so on. Could also be that you have some course platforms. Use it as your customer support where you can have these human-like avatars. You can feed it different scripts and so on you can use text-to-speech voice cloning even video translation so when you're talking you can just capture a video of yourself and you can translate it to whatever language it's going to have this very natural human-like behavior so these are pretty cool i'm going to show you every single step how you can set it up the platform all the features and then all the ai tools from wondershare verbo so this is definitely the future for ai where we can just like basically just prompt or script and then we'll have these avatar talking helping us out being way more interactive and also human-like. These AI models are becoming increasingly better over time and even just scaling exponentially. So now we have all these AI models coming together for translation, the large language models, voice cloning. We even have AI models that can go in and take a photo or individual images from a video and make it human-like. So that will be natural mouth movement, eyes, the cheeks and so on, hair movement, even neck movement and so on. So these models are very cool and everything is coming together. And now we can just do it in a few clicks so it's just some straight into verbo from wondershare this is basically just a front page we're going to land that everything will be down in the description so you can just go check that out and you can generate these ai avatars in just minutes so if you just scroll through it here you can basically just get a high level overview over the use cases so basically if you're doing education or training product how to videos and so on you can just have these instead of boring slides, customer success, customer support, and so on, instead of just having these chatbots that is going to pop up. Estate service, content marketing, all different types of materials, PowerPoint presentations, and so on. You can have these talking avatars on top of it, both talking photos of yourself, the different avatars, and so on, but you can also just use it for video translation, depending on if your customers need that. So it's now going to take a look at the pricing and let's get started. So they both have a monthly plan, a yearly plan here, depending on your need. Again, this product here, how we can generate the AI avatars, both works on different devices, on the web and so on, which I'm going to show you. So right now, let's just hit generate AI video online. We'll then be taking into the platform. Over here to the left, we have home, my creation and tutorial. So this is pretty straightforward. We have all the AI tools up here at the top. So we have talk and photo, video translation. So you can just take any video of yourself and translate it into any language. We have voice cloning, text to speech and export avatar only if you want to do that. Here we have a bunch of different AI avatars that you can use as a baseline. You can either create it in landscape or portrait mode, depending on what you want. So just having these AI avatars mimicking a human natural movement is very awesome. And you can just connect whatever script to it or do the voice cloning, even just text to speech as well, which is pretty cool. So right now, we do, let's just go in and take one of the recommended ones. We can also just go up and create a new avatar. Let's go with landscape mode. We can create a video. And right now, it's just going to set up the project. So let's go in and create this avatar here for our landing page, which is basically just going to explain what our product is and the service that we're providing. So right now, over here to the left, let's just choose Gabriel. He's coming up here. We can see our input text. Down here at the bottom, we can even go in and generate it so we can create an AI script so we can just enter our requirements. So we're now generated a script with AI, but you can also use all the other language models out there, ChatGPT, Claude, and so on. Let's just copy it and also hit apply. Now we have our input text over here to the right. We can then go in and choose the voice over that we want to use depending on the gender, language, and so on. Let's just go with Andrew for now. So let's set, hit select. Down here at the bottom, we can also go in and do modifications. So we can do AI translation from English to whatever target language that you want to use. This is really awesome if you have multiple languages supported on your website, depending on where you are in the world as well. So if you want to target a very specific audience, and also if you just want to create a specific business or sale pitch or whatever, or could even be courses and so on in a specific language. Then this AI translation tool here is very helpful. So right now, I was just going to take a look at how it would do. So right now, I'm just going to translate it into 
Danish because that's my main language and I will be able to tell if it's good at doing the translation. So this looks pretty good while I'm just uh, while I'm just skimming over here. So it is actually like pretty nice doing this AI translation. Again, it should be pretty straightforward, just throwing it through the model, but we get it here and then we can hit apply and it will do the AI translation for us. But it's just keyword in English right now, so we all understand what's going on. We can also add the timing here and also voice over if you want to add it yourself. If you go up the top, we can change the aspect ratio, the background, music, and also subtitles if you want to put that on top of your AI generated avatar. So it's now going to take a look at some of the background, what's available. Right now we want to create this business type. There we go. Let's just go with the office here. Let's go with that one. It's just going to apply. Now we even have these 3D. But we can have all these images here behind it. You can also just have no background behind it if you want to integrate into your platform, your own PowerPoint slides and the material that you have. So right now we also have the music. So depending on what type of music, I don't really want to use any for now. And at the end here, we also have the subtitles. So it's basically just going to introducing business name. You just have to fill out your business name, swap it out for every single one of them. And it's just going to apply these subtitles from the input text to your image and video as well. So now we're pretty much good to go. Pretty straightforward interface. You can do a couple modifications here and there. Again, it just takes a few minutes and we're good to go. So it's not just his generate here. It's going to do everything for us, export the video. And while it's doing that, let's take a look at some of the other AI tools. So we also have these talking photos, video translate. We already saw how we can do the translation with the AI model. So that's pretty awesome. Right now, it's going to take a look at the talking photos. I've just captured an image of myself from one of my YouTube videos. So to try to see if we can do something awesome with that. I expect it to be able to do very nicely natural mouth movement, eyes and so on, as it's doing with the AI generated avatars. So it's basically just moving the whole body, the arms and so on, depending on what the person is saying, the mouth, eyes and so on. So it's very natural, makes it way more engaging to have in your material. So we have our AI script again, we can do again, let's just go with a default one for now, or let's just paste in the one that we have copied. We can do AI translation again, pause audio script. If you want to do that as well, it's going to just do the voice cloning or speech to text. We can choose the voiceover. So let's just go with Andrew again. We're also going to specify the speed, pitch and volume with these track bars. If you want to apply background music, we can also do that. Once we have everything now, we can remove the background. If you just want to have yourself, like this is a pretty awesome feature. Again, you can just use photos of yourself. There we go. Let's just go ahead and remove the background. See how the background removal tool works. So just expect me to be segmented out, removed from the background. Maybe we'll have the microphone with us. There we go. That's, that's okay. It's for a YouTube video. So it's now going to create a video. It's not the perfect image, but let's create the video. It's going to export to start with, and let's take a look at the results. So now it's just going to generate it while it is in queue. We can go back again and let's see if the other one is finished. So we have our AI video, talking photo, video translate, and we also have our draft. So right now we can see that it's still exporting and our talking photo. So let's just wait and take a look at it after. So while the other videos are exporting, let's go in and take a look at the last example here, which is the video translate. So I've just captured a video of myself talking into the camera in Danish. Let's see if we can translate that into English and see the results. So right now I just have the video. I'm going to drop it in here. It's going to upload it. We can select the original video language. So let's just scroll a bit down. We have Danish and we're going to target it into English. We can then go down to the advanced settings and do lip sync. So it basically just means that it's going to mimic the lips as if I was talking in English as well. So this is a pretty awesome feature because the lip sync, how the lips move and so on is very depending on the language that you're speaking. We can also go in and add subtitles. Let's just do that to be able to actually like verify that this is correct and what it's actually like going to generate and translate. We can also proofread the video script here. So just to ensure accurate video translation. So right now, let's just not take that off. Let's go in and translate the video and take a look at the results. So while it's translating here, let's go back and take a look at the other ones. They should be exported for now. So now we have our AI avatar video generated. Let's go in and take a look at the results. Introducing Nikolai, your ultimate partner in sports analytics. Are you ready to take your performance to the next level? Look no further. Business name, 
offers cutting-edge AI freelance services specifically designed to help athletes and sports enthusiasts enhance their skills and achieve their full potential. With our advanced analytics tools and personalized insights, we empower you to understand your performance like never before. From in-depth player statistics... So you can just see here while the video is playing, it looks very natural. The whole face movement, the eyebrows, mouth, and even the hands are moving while this avatar here is talking. So this is very engaging to have on your sale page and so on. And even the script here is pretty awesome and very professional. So in just a few minutes, you can actually have this up and running. You can just download it. So this is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the talking photo and see if those are some good results. Introducing Nikolai. So just in this, you'll hear a look a bit artificial while it's actually going to do this mimicking. So it's not the exact photo as I used as the input, but again, this is not the perfect example. You can have like way better like professional shots and it might give you some better results, but let's take a look at the human movement, if it's natural or not. So it's now just going to take a look at it. Let's play the video again. Look no further. Business name. So we can see that it acts like mimics here with the lips. There's something with the mouth, not perfectly the same um, as mine. The eyes here is not really moving that much, the eyebrows, but the head movement is pretty natural. The hands are not moving, but the, again, this is just a talking photo where it focuses on the head. So sometimes the eyes are blinking, doesn't look like too natural, but this is still very awesome by just taking a photo. So this is also a nice AI feature that you can use if you want to personalize it a bit more compared to just using the AI avatars that you can use out of the box. So this is very awesome. There are still some downsides and so on. It looks a bit more artificial compared to the initial input image. So these are some pretty nice results still. The AI avatar was pretty much perfect spot on. Let's now go and take a look at the video translate. 99% done with the translation. So now it's done with the translation. Let's take a look at the results. So again, I was speaking in Danish initially. So let's see if this new tool, it can take a video one armed ride right now. So there I'm speaking Danish. Now it's going to translate it into English and then let's see if the results are good. So this is actually like, uh, pretty pretty awesome. Again, the initial image is, is, uh, is very good. This is just a raw video of me. I've just captured it talking into my camera again, and then basically just threw it in here, talking in Danish. So in the start here, it was pretty much on point with the first line. So I think here around this sentence here, it's a bit off. So right now it says it can take a video one amp right, right now. So that's not really in line with what I said. I think I said something similar to that. You can just take an arbitrary language and translate it into another arbitrary language. So maybe the arbitrary word in Danish was a bit hard for the translator, but in general, it's still very good. You can go and do modifications, corrections to it and so on. But again, I tried to use some easy words, but also some more more complex and advanced words. And again, this can be an arbitrary language. You saw all the languages available. So it's really awesome just from that. And even here at the end, there I'm speaking Danish. Now it's going to translate it into English and then let's see if the results are good. So this is pretty much spot on perfectly here at the end. And if we take a look at the movements, it's just going to use some of the movements from the video, but still creates a bit of artificial in the mouth because again, it's doing this lip sync to try to mimic it into how it would be set and also how the lips would move in the English language. So it's pretty incredible what AI can do now and it's only going in one direction and it's going very fast. All these things here, they're coming together, the large language models, the translators, all the computer vision stuff with the image generation, lip sync and so on, how we can do modifications to images and videos. Thank you guys for watching this video here. Definitely go in and check out Verbo. Everything will be down in the description here. You can go in and check it out and test it out yourself. Play around with it. AI is only going one direction. This is already pretty awesome. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.